in the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. I show you guys my magical, whimsical, squirting flower? Yes, yes. about a gazillion times! Oh. Well, did I show you my rash? No! Oh, no, 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 no! Hi, everybody, welcome to the Satellite Love. My name's Joel Robinson. About three weeks ago, I set up this hollow clown sequencer to cheer up the bots, but now I can't get it to turn off, and it's getting hard to sleep at night, and I'm tasting metal. Hey, little girl, would you like a salted nut roll? Ah, Joel! <laughs> Joel! Ah! Ah! Are you yelling? Ah, shut up! Shut up! You think I like it being stuck in limbo with you? No! Get on your orange and yellow knees and kiss my clown feet that I haven't killed you! Joel, this is getting weird. You gotta do something! I'm working on it. Joel, do something. I hate those clowns and I don't even exist. That's the one. That's Joel Robinson, don't you do that! Don't you do that! I have to do that! Don't you do that! Don't you do that! Don't you do that! Well, let's not do that again. We'll be right back. Clowns are raining down. Hear the scream of the grease paint. Danger! Clown puddles. Nice hike, Tom. Very good. Crow, you're next. Uh, oh, uh, the uh, Captain and Tennille are calling. Ah, Robinson, Servo, Mr. T-Robot. Our invention this week is inspired by today's experiment, Attack of the Giant Leeches. In ye olden times, alchemists believed that leeches served medicinal purposes. So do we. Uh, yes, um, we found that the common freshwater leech uh, can serve the same purpose as a nicotine patch, and being neither food nor drug, there's no pesky FDA regulation to impede your progress, and I can uh, experiment at will. Frank? At your service. Our subject, Frank, has been trying to quit smoking for quite some time. He's a three-pack-a-day man. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Shut up. Now, uh, this leech, we'll call him Patches, yeah. uh, when applied to the oh. neck and head area, will suck any no. desire no. to smoke no. out of Frank. No. no. No, no, I'm the sum of my vices. I have my pain, my happiness, my losses, my love, my struggles, my hobbies, my lanta. I want to live. I want to live. I want to live and love and learn and live. But this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, there you go. Now, Patches, I'm depending on you, you slug. Say, this is the most action I've got. Frank, back to you, Joel. Well, sirs, as you know, Puberty is that time when childhood crosses that mighty threshold to adulthood. Kids can't wait for it to start and grown-ups can't wait for it to leave. It's springtime for your body and you're about to bloom into beautiful flora. But as you know, being an adolescent is time consuming. And that's why we came up with this, this satellite of love, Insti Adolescent Kit. 
Yeah, why waste your teen in tortures, flux, when those funny feelings downstairs can be taken care of in a jiffy? Huh. Get ready. You'll have to start showering daily as sebaceous oh, no, oil included no, oh, in the kit oh, oh, does double duty on your scalp, oh, face, and underarms. Oh, in my back, too. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget the octave you'll encompass when you finally encounter our minty fresh hormonal spray. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Want to go to the snow days dance with me? <laughs> and that's when your face turns beet red. But it's okay, because Susie won't notice because you'll be covered with pimples. No, you guys just don't understand me. That's right. Now that you're a teen, the most innocent remarks by friends and families will be construed as personal attacks. Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? Well, mm -hmm. well, fortunately, each kit comes with its own personal retort cards with comebacks like, You just have no clue who is in my room, and you guys are so phony. Oh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> hey, but there's more. CDs, Mood pills. So yes, yeah, you'll span the emotional globe and you experience everything CD, from mild world. nausea and persistent the, dread shit. to ecstatic feelings of immortality. Lyrics, what do you think? I'm stupid as stuff. Yeah. I just don't feel Call this in one good. afternoon. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> Great, but I still don't have my license. Oh, listen, mister, if you don't like it, you could stay in a hotel down the street. What do you think, sir? <laughs> Very amusing, Joel. But let's not forget why you're up there, to watch really bad movies. And now, a Dr. Clayton Forrester presentation, Attack of the Giant Leeches. Oh, you're doing homework oh, like, all like right. Oh, care. yeah, you, you are. are so Look lame. at what you did to your mother. I don't, care. Oh, I don't, care. I don't care. care. I don't care. I don't care. Not my father, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, Behold, Submariner, King of the Sea Fort, favor of Atlantis is a prince of the deep. Oh, look, it's the Embassy Football All Stars. <laughs> We're playing USC today. <laughs> hey, hey, it's the Embassy Kingdom for you and for me, and it's fine. Huh? <laughs> Looks like rush hour on Spaghetti Junction. Ooh, it's all whirly twirly. Ooh. <laughs> Oh. Hmm? Huh? Oh. oh, it's Ben Hur. I've seen this before. Oh. Hey, hey, you guys. You know where you're going? Ah, oh, I thought no. so. Come Back on. This way. Come on. <laughs> have no clue, did they? <laughs> G. Hallman Brewing Company, La Crosse, Wisconsin. When in Las Vegas, visit Excalibur. Beneath the ocean floor. It's all full of mildew down there. <laughs> Let's go gather around the water cooler. We are the water cooler. Oh, I love that one. Annapolis a day keeps the doctorates away. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking really, really, really fast. We're walking really, really fast. And then we're walking Congratulations, soldier. Go out and kill. Well, here, one for you. Congratulations. Go out and kill. Ooh. Ooh. I'm on it, Doc. Do you think I'll live? You look kind of uh, weak and puny, but I think you'll pull. I'm kidding, of course. You're one of the finest specimens to ever come through here. Thank you, sir. Next. Great chap. I wish we had more like him. Ah, keep your mind on your work. You're in enough trouble as it is. Too bad. This is his last year. You'll make a grand naval officer. You'll make several of them. Hey, he's posing for a Wheaties box. Yeah. Oh, oh, Doc! That's close. <laughs> I am the god of hellfire. <laughs> All these people are dead now, isn't that weird? Think about it. Oh no, a football game is broken out, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what to make of it. This makes me lonesome for my old electric football game. Oh. It's good humor man day today. What are those lab technicians doing on the field? Oh, look. Get the pullback. Him down. Looks like they're playing in chocolate. It's the Hershey <laughs> Bowl. <laughs> you know, in the future, people will pay to see women do this. Ooh. Take it back. My sister does not swim towards troop ships. Oh, smooth, smooth. Uh, mm, mm. Turn hook. Well, well, I'd like to know where you got the notion, Eddie Sailor. Well, I'd like to know where you got the notion. I'd like to know where you got the notion, Eddie Sailor. I've got to see Lieutenant Crawford.
bargain right away. You can't go in there. It's against orders. But I tell you, I gotta see him. It's important. I'm his son. He doesn't know about me yet. Even if I let you in, you couldn't talk to the lieutenant now. He's busy. I sure was. All right. <laughs> Little jerk. Hmm. Wow, Jeepers hot dog. And everywhere the smell of men enjoying themselves. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. I'll show them. I'm gonna jump off. No, don't do it. And now back to men with little pants. <laughs> oh, she came in through the bathroom window. <laughs> Oh, he's having an episode. Good work, Jimmy. Jimmy Spitz. Oh, let him play it, huh? Give him a wedgie. Give him a Purple Herman. Woo, wet willy. It was. The tin drum. Let's go down the slide like this. Whee! Luke. Holy. You know, there's something sick about this guy. Yeah, I call it history town. Victory at sea. Good idea, kid. Why didn't I think of that? Huh? Billy, don't be a hero. Don't need that. Hey. Hold it. I just say I can't stop showing off. Yeah, this is what happens when you spend a lot of time around sailors, you know. Get all goofy. Thank God they built this place like a jungle, Jim. Here, Billy, let me close the window first. <laughs> Give us Barabbas! Hey, yeah, catch him, you mugs. <laughs> ah, you got acne all over your back, yuck! Oh. Hey, kid, uh, feel free to dig your heel into my groin. <laughs> now somebody's got to save me. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Hold tight, Billy. Ah, uh, not that tight. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey, woo! Ta da! Uh, what were you doing up there? Dad sent me over to get you, but they wouldn't let me in. Has he had another quick warning? Yeah, he wants you to come right over. Well, wait until I get into my clothes. I'm going over to Professor Norton's laboratory. Oh, no, hey, put out a sarong. That'll be all you need. What you say is very interesting, Professor Lawson. But, but stupid. I still can't believe that this little machine can predict earthquakes. Not only predicts, but prevents them. And like it makes toast. Ah, to the hmm? oh, there you are, Lieutenant. The signals are coming in much stronger. Oh, the earth just moved for me. Oh, I beg your pardon. And this is Miss Compton, staff writer of the time. Oh, everybody knows Pat Corridon. Everybody digs Bill Evans, so... Answer unclear. Ask again. And it makes three different kinds of jalopy. That was the signal again. They've been sending it every five minutes. They? Just whom do you mean by they? Comedy Professor Central. Professor Norton maintains that these signals must be the work of some human agency, apparently coming from the bottom of the ocean. Oh, the William Morse agency. I hope you're not going to bring that fantastic yarn about the lost continent of Atlantis. Exactly. Only now I have some definite evidence. Let me get in my costume and tell you about it. Now, pretend I'm a swarthy pirate. This is pure onycology. No, I'm not! Metal made by fusing gold and copper. Gobber. The secret of this process was lost for the Atlanteans. What does that prove? Well, according to every test, the idol couldn't be more than a couple of years old. Something made recently. I found it during a recent trip I made in my rocket submarine in the, in this general location. <laughs> you have a rich and inner this life, don't you? Is where the ancient continent of Atlantis was reported to have sunk thousands of years ago. Contrary to popular belief, Atlantis did not sink overnight, but during a period of years. That's great, Gramps. During this time, the people had ample opportunity to construct a roof of Auricalcum over the city and keep out the ocean. Ah, the film's melting! Oh, oh, that's a better world. Xanadu, stately underwater home of Charles Foster Kane. Fish, no fish can say. It's a Denver Pile I statue. Mm. I beg of you to take safety hey. in the city. Oh. God of Atlantis what has thing? never forsaken his people in time of need. Fifty pounds ready. I promise you, he will not do so now. Do, 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 do. Imperial. In Atlantis, 
until we have broken the power of this evil usurper, Anger Khan. Oh no, the King of Mary is going to make us pretend we're the Rockettes again. Run! It's the 1968 Chrysler Merrimack. Fondue! Hmm. Our men are outnumbered. The city is about to fall. Yeah, Mayor Dinkins just ain't cutting it, is he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say... Get this. Me and my shadow walking down the avenue. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, must be Monday. Huh. Mm. Traffic lights must be out. Yeah. You believe this crap? <laughs> Unreal. Hey, look, dung beetles. Huh? I don't want that. <laughs> He was my favorite. Ooh. Ken just exploded, sir. They bomb horses, don't they? It's backing up. Hmm. <laughs> There's a bomb going into the air shaft. Ooh. This place looks like a bomb just hit it. Oh. Ooh. Jane, I'm home! David Crosby, no! <laughs> you are really something, boss. I think this is your year. Your head's very creative today, Kyle. When you do succeed in sending them to the bottom of the sea, Atlantis will rise once more to its former place in the sun and you will be ruler of all things. Start the disintegrator. Uh, okay. Doom, doom, doom. Gotta finish a giant roll aid first, sir. Oh, look, here's Daniel in the lion's den. Oh. This clown's making chains. Mm. This is a giant that Welch's grape jelly machine, and I'm out of here. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good night now. <laughs> Camera crew from real life. Ooh. Set it for stun. Let's play some metal. Woo! You collinking, collinking, collettering collection of collinkless junk. Well, look, he's packing a tummy sizer. The night Chicago died. Da -da 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 Chicago died. Brother, what a night the people saw. Red Cross is beginning production. The Russian team, the Russian supplies... You in there? Sold American. But now on the lighter side of the news that... St. Clair? That's only 300 miles from here. Yes, and according to my calculations, another severe shock will occur any moment. <laughs> Dang. Joe, put that counteracting machine board this submarine right away. Uh, okay. You mean you're going down to try to stop this quake? What a story this will make for my paper. Troy Tempest, phones equals Stingray. Great lady down for Contel. Professor Norton. Oh, Norton, get in here. Oh, you're getting in here. I don't know. We're on a level keel, but we're being dragged down by some mysterious force. The plot? <laughs> we're on a baking soda, sir. This sub is powered by fizzies. I want to take us down to 20,000 leagues. Meanwhile, in young Billy's bathtub. Yeah, Billy bathtub, what a terrible movie. No, 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 Kermit. Check it out, there are fish out there. Gee. Hey, they got a genie automatic garage door picker up. That's a Swiss Army joke. Sorry. Do you think I'm losing weight, sir? When in Coral Gables, Florida, visit Crash Corrigan Cove. Captain Billy. According to the death indicator, we're still some 10,000 feet down. You know, I think they give that kid yeah. too much freedom. That's land, all right. We're moving into a small end. Yep, that's land. I've seen it before. Yep, definitely. Wait a minute. I think we're on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. A big sub. Hey, we're on the surface. 
I knew Colonel Kurtz was close. He was real close. He was Scotty. And kill the dorky guy. I had comic relief. Is that your beeper? No. Nope. It's not me, I don't think. No. Imperial stable. My command of his Supreme Majesty Unga Khan. What are you looking at? A detachment of the Imperial Guard will proceed at once to the inland sea and capture the stranger from the upper world. Put your skirt down. Yes, yes. Now, quickly. Number one control. Huh? Number one control. That's us, boys. Come on, it's time for the big Hawaiian number. Hey, come on, everybody. Yeah, it's the Ponderosa under the sea. You know what? I think that's a man painting. Check it. You see that? Yeah. We now join Fitz Caraldo already in progress. Ooh, you running over somebody? Yeah. This looks like a fine place to set down my pasty white bottom. Well, well they're certainly well dressed for adventure. Mm -hmm. Here we are, 10,000 feet below sea level. And me without my rubber. Only in another world. Hey, he's being followed by Michael Nesmith. Hey, did you know my mom invented liquid paper? Toki, <laughs> Toki. submerge while we investigate this place. Hmm. All right. Hey, did you remember to close the hatch? Oh! <laughs> well, remember where we parked, everyone. We're in the giraffe lot. Better hide the control box. Now, there's a good place. Yes, yeah, that'll right. do. Do you think we'd better wait for Briny and Solly? Oh, it's unnecessary. Briny and Solly, the console twins. We're going to catch Sinbad the parrot. <laughs> hey, everybody, here's where the two roads diverge into a yellow wood. Make the one less travel. <laughs> That is one sweet chariot. Shirley McLean. No, we I lost R2. Oh, we out, 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 Hey, check it out. It says Bill Shatner was here. Hmm. Great. They're letting Jay North lead the pack here. <laughs> Look, Dad. How come they all turned when he said Dad? Yes, my calculations are wrong. We've come across the lost continent of Atlantis. I'd say your calculations are wrong. It must be a mirage. No, the mirage is on the strip. And around the clubhouse turn is apartment house with plenty of room with bird droppings on the rail coming around the bend. Oh, look, this is what starts those chain accidents. That's no illusion. It's a world of illusion. Look, soldiers! Wait there! We're coming to attack you! Keep out of sight. Let's find out if they're friends or enemies. Uh, if they kill me, they're probably enemies. Uh, taxi, I say taxi. <laughs> Ah, he's a real diplomat. <laughs> Get him, girls! He hit Buddy! <laughs> hey, I got this. I can see up Trent's skirt from here. Okay, hand me up that horse. Uh oh. I got a crazy idea, but it just might work. No way, they're gonna pants me and make me one of them! <laughs> well, I never read a horsey before. He's escaped. Head out to check him out. Enough said, let him serve. <laughs> what? Wait, we need that horse. Oh, idiot. Be careful. Let's get back to the submarine. But the soldiers, what about that? I'll tell you later. There's no time to lose. Hurry, Diana. Hurry, Diana. Well, around right about that time, the boys did a little body work on the old General Lee. Hot-blooded, check it in. Huh? Some sort of a war tank. Oh, I can see a war tank. Excuse me, have you seen any Earthlings? Oh, 
Don't hold me, though. Okay, boys, de louse them. Oh, right in the nostril. <laughs> Fisher, Fisher, Fisher. Oh, yeah, we noticed. Stop, wait, come back. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. This, this is my handle, this is my gun. One is for pouring, one is for fun. That's pretty good. Moses. Silly string. Jeez, lady, scream in someone else's ear. Really? You two get behind that rock. Come up by ones, everyone. One. 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 Here, Billy, you draw their fire. Diane! Two of the strangers have escaped the whole kite. I hate when they talk during the movie. Uh, huh? Oh. Hmm. Perhaps the invisible ray gun will soon stop them. It's not very invisible. Oh, I don't no. see it. All right, Billy, when I throw you off here, flap your arms like crazy. Touch the disintegrator. GE, we bring good things to death. So, you know, I like Meg Ryan in this role better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this is it. Looks like I'm going to be forced to push you off, Billy. Hit him in the mouth? Oh, no, they're shooting hot dogs at him. <laughs> Oh, oh, hold the mustard on that one. Oh, my God. Admiral, <laughs> deploy the cheddar worst. Oh, no. Blindsided by another short. Are you guys okay? Ah, uh, don't worry, Jill. I'm feeling no unusual effects from it. Isn't that right, Billy? That's right, crew! <laughs> That's really nice, crew. It's, uh, uh, you know, Joel, uh, for the life of me, I can't understand the appeal of these old cereals. Well, that's no big mystery, my little fire plug -ies. See, they actually have kind of a historic quality. You know, if it's in the 1930s and you're interested in taking over the world, you got to get gutsied up to beat the band. Yeah, no kidding. Just look at the elaborately flamboyant costumes the bad guys were gadding about in. <laughs> Togas, electric helmets, dance belts, fascist right. underoos. <laughs> right, exactly. And uh, I thought it'd be fun as a thought experiment for you to guys to tell me how you would dress up if you were going to take over the world. Mm. Oh, you know, I'd bronze my skin, put on 40 pounds, and dress like B. Arthur. <laughs> I'd wear a Lone Ranger mask and a swimsuit made of string cheese. Good idea. Very thoughtful. Okay. Uh, say you've got your costume. What would your caper be? I mean, what would you do to take over the world? Oh, I'd freeze all the world's oceans. Oh, but then I guess that means I'd have to dress like Dick Button. Yeah. I'd send uh, California tumbling into the ocean, mm -hmm. uh, the Atlantic Ocean, uh, after showering talc and changing into my Frito Bandito costume. I see. Nice well, uh, once you've taken over the world, what would you do then? Ooh, I'd turn all those who oppose me into the boy in a plastic bubble, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I'd declare March Liza Month! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Well, it's fun to dream, you know, yeah. but... Mm -hmm. You can bet that anybody seriously interested in world domination is going to end up looking like a real snickerdoodle. What's that supposed to mean? I'll deal with you later. Back to the drill, Frank. You will bow down before me, son of Jor-El. Bow down. Of the giant, giant leeches. <laughs> Looks like an E.E. E. Cummings book cover. Mm. Typesetting by Smith Corona. Original story and screenplay by Leo Gordon. Leo Gordon, no man, take a look at it. Let's get up, let's get up, let's get up. Woo! Neat, huh? Oh, well, I'll uh, have a dick, Reuben. Uh, hold the sauerkraut. Rider rents sound services. Do, 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 do. Laszlo also brings you a fine line of cosmetics for aging socialites and social x-rays. <laughs> hey, Roger, Roger Corman! Corman. Uh -huh. oh. 
wonder if they're related. Oh no. Hmm, uh, title sequence uh, named Desire. Stella! Then folks started paying for their groceries with old cars. Nothing you could do about it. Nope. Yeah, this looks like the right side of the wrong side of the tracks. Mm hmm. Norm! Norm! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. That was a hee haw riding session. So I was thinking Lulu could pop up behind some corn. Now that's <laughs> funny. Just hold it a second, Lamb. Liz? Here's more. You hear me, girl? Tell little Jerry Lee to hold it down on there. Hi, who's the new girl? Lolita. What do you want now? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, crest. <laughs> you gonna play that thing so loud? Come on like this first. Oral. Don't talk Hi, to me. Liz. <laughs> I wonder if they have a back porch on that place. Ooh. Someday I'm going to give that she can't a whopping she's been asking. Oh, boo. Oh. Hey, well, Dave, bring the law down to her. Let her know who wears the pants around here. Yeah, and who wears a stupid looking hat? I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> That's a good one, Ab, yeah, but I got to give you that one. <laughs> Come back there, I'll lay you a jug. She'll be doing it. <laughs> I soiled Come myself. On now, Lim, tell us about that thing you killed out there at the swamp, buddy. Yeah, Liv, let's share the rest of it. Well, maybe we I should have subtitles was, for those. I put five slugs into that critter before it went under. Then I had a few slugs myself, and then I went under. <laughs> and regular arms on it like a man. But made for a woman. Had, had suckers on them. Tootsie Pop, I think. Like one of them, uh... Like one of them octopuses. No, uh, that's act of pie, actually. Oh, it was plum off look. Then you sure that critter wasn't pink? <laughs> Shut up, oh, Bruce. I told you before, it was sort of gray looking. <laughs> and you gotta check with String Bean to laugh? You well, laugh if you want. Huh? But that thing weren't nothing nature put out there. Oh, sir. And it weren't no freak gator neither. Now, maybe it was the rocket fuel you've been drinking. I've been this country for 40 years, and I ain't never seen nothing like Oh, that's a double that's negative. Too bad you didn't mm. bring it back. Steve Benton probably paid a fair bounty for whatever it was. Bounty? I wouldn't touch that critter for all the money he ever made. Well, Ten bucks? And if you seen it, you wouldn't either. You better take it easy on this stuff. You looking kind of pinkin'. Oh, this is an intervention. Oh. Shucks, just tobacco juice. I'm gonna clean my otter lines out before morning. Oh, no, no, not in front of us, Lim, please. I think that critter's a ghost of one of those otters you've been poaching all these years, coming back to haunt you. <laughs> Our joy grows, friend. Well, if that's so, you fellers will see it right quick yourselves. Yeah, that's great. When you get near a sentence, let us know. Uh. Do you really think this loitering is good for business? <laughs> this sitting around plum wore me out. <laughs> the Hooterville 7. I think she knows how to scratch an itch. Ordinary pantyhose are okay under funky clothes, but gentlemen prefer Hanes. Oh, Pete Fountain. Quit wearing my things. Boss Hog, after dark. Look, it's not like I want to be mean or anything like that, Liz, baby. I got a reputation around here. That's a big, fat, and sensitive guy. have no respect for a man who lets his woman boss him. Well, next thing I know, they'll be laughing at me. Then I'd have to go on a shooting spree. The the... Won't you please listen to me, Liz, baby? Mm -hmm. Liz? I'm not hearing you, la 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 hot child in the city. Sir, my name's not Liz, it's Blanche. Oh, I love it when she puts on there. I just like the smell. Liz, honey, you think you could lose some weight? You know, she's going to shorten those calf muscles with those heels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'll look at you anywhere I want. You're my wife. Man, I do wonder what it'd be like to make love to you, though. No, 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 don't do that, lady. Oh, it's okay. Oh. oh, mommy. Honey West. 
Joel, I thought underwear was supposed to match. Touch me. Wouldn't have to. You think you're talking to? <laughs> Don't touch me. You're my wife. Hmm. I'll touch you anytime I feel like it. You must have a really good personality. Can I call you sometime? Where are you going? Fellow named Humbert Humbert wants to see me. Where are you going? I'm going out. To church. Maybe I'll be back. Maybe I won't. Liz, baby. Uh, do I, I have to guess? Nothing. Do I get a prize if I get... I'll just, just, can I eat your dinner then? Shouldn't have married her knowing that you loathe me. Hey. How come we're not moving? <laughs> okay, all done. <sighs> yeah, it's Jim from Wild Kingdom. Well, there was a young one in that last trap. I had to kill it. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, boo-hoo. Told you you shouldn't have come along. So, let's have some kids. But I love sitting in a smelly pickup truck. Well, I can understand hunting an animal, but making it suffer in those traps. Hey, I suffer in the trap of love. These poachers know the swamps like the back of their hands. But I'll catch one of them in the axe some night and put him away for six months. My, he's rugged. In the meantime, I'll have to be satisfied confiscating their trap lines. That's rewarding. If there's enough. enough traps, it won't pay them to keep trying. Well, be careful, darling. These people aren't like other folks. You know, they'll try and get back at you. And they've got seven they're toes on each foot. Ooh. Steve, you're a stranger here. They've lived this way for generations. One man isn't going to change them overnight. Yeah, they got to want to change. Worry, worry. Oh, I'm serious, Steve. They can be dangerous. Okay. I'll be careful. You just stop worrying. Uh huh. Oh, he's the killer leech. No, Letch. It's the attack oh. of the killer Letch. You see. Oh, Steve, I love you. I love you so much. I don't know how. To... What was that? I don't know. You get in that truck and lock it up. So like hee haw. Well, could you leave the mad dog here? She dresses pretty formally for a leech hunt. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ricky, we were just playing a little game. <laughs> ah, thanks for comforting me with a gun. Ah, uh, he's a mess. A chocolate mess. Breakfast beans. Oh, this Listen, guy's the sheriff of everything. Want to rule that Sawyer died by misadventure? <laughs> as far as this officer's concerned, that's the end of it. That's a common sheriff, cause of death. Look, if Flem was killed by anything human, I wouldn't need you to tell me my job. Ah, uh, shut up and I'm finish your kaboom. I'm not about to go tromping through the swamp looking for an overgrowed gator. What do I look like, oh, a cop? Were killed by an alligator. <laughs> Is that so? Did you hear that, Morton? Game huh? Warden Benton says it wasn't a gator killed Lem. <laughs> well, then what was it? You know uh, so much. Go on, tell me. What killed him? It was low-level stress, Operation Troy. Operation said the wounds were the kind of squid or a large octopus might cause. I love squid. Oh, sure. And did Grayson explain how a saltwater creature happened to be 30 miles inland living in clear water? Stranger things have happened. I know Look that. here, Ben. You work for the state. The state of confusion. Now, why don't you Ooh. keep your nose out of county business? Is that clear enough for you? I'll go soak your fat head. Okay, then. Well, I'll go get some soap and... Hey, wait a minute. What was that you said? I said, go soak your fat head. Is that exactly how you phrased it? Wasn't there more of a lilting quality? Ah. Why, if I wasn't so stuffed with boys right now. looking for bad trouble. And he's sure going to get it. <clears throat> you can bet on that. <laughs> I thought it was funny, Sheriff. <laughs> Gary Busey, ladies and gentlemen. Gary Busey. Look, I sneezed in my dictionary. Well, you see, the octopi uses its suction discs to hold its prey. Like I hold now, a in sandwich. In itself, the disc will not inflict a wound. Same is true of the squid. Now, both creatures have a parrot-like beak as their primary offensive and defensive weapon. Well, maybe the sheriff was right, Dad. I think I know where the drapes went. Could be a freak or a malformed alligator. Thanks for the coffee, Mrs. No. Cleavage. No, I'm afraid it wasn't. Well, where does that leave us, Doc? In the living room. Wish I knew. You know, I'm beginning to think Lem was telling the truth in Walker's store. He did see something that night. 
Something that had intelligence enough to seek him out and destroy him later. That was smart. I saw your claims to have killed the thing he saw. Put a half a dozen rifle bullets into it. I've seen that old 4440 you used. Nothing could live after being hit with those slugs. Only half a cup? Well, Don't I like my coffee? Conceding the possibility of one such creature, we must also concede the possibility of others. Oh, sorry you lost me. You know, this coffee's wonderful. Well, one sure way of finding out. Go in and search every backwater, channel, and wet spot in the swamp. Any volunteers? It's there. I'll find it. It all points to one thing, Drake. This coffee's grand. From the land of sky blue water. Water! <laughs> oh, heck, honey, I got a motor on this thing. I just remembered. Do you know any other camp songs? Uh, let's see. Barnacle Bill? No. Oh. Yeah, whatever you do, don't help me paddle, Miss Deadweight. Well, you know, Visor might have been helpful. Hmm. It's a swamp. Uh, should we bring our evil in here? Charlie, there's leeches all over your back. Sure is flying around here. What is she on her lunch break from Wendy's? <laughs> Um, wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Um, de -dum -de -de -de. Yeah, leechy, 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 leechy. Come on, nice leechy, 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 leechy. Well, I tell you one thing right now. I am not going to portage this thing. You know, maybe this isn't the right time to talk about this, but I love muffins. You know, those real fancy nut and fruit muffins I got full of whole grain. Sermon, no! The heck? Did you hear something? Uh, I heard you say, did you hear something? Yeah. Well, whatever it was, it's not here anymore. Yeah, probably over the state line by now. Be quiet. Phil Harris and Kirk Gardy are duck hunting back there. Hmm. Do you want some coffee? Again with the coffee. Yeah, thanks, well, it is very good coffee. An army could hide in here and never be noticed. Well, one did. Seminoles under Osceola in 1830. Oh, gee, I was just trying to break the ice. I don't need a history lesson. Two years to round them up. Oh, I remember reading about Osceola in high school. Yeah, those Seminoles, yes. boy, they drink a lot of coffee. Mm -hmm. I've only been at it two days and I feel worn out. Probably because of my stories. Might as well keep on looking around. Okay, well then, like some more coffee? I'll get you some more coffee. Dinner's ready back here. Uh, do you want rice aroni? There's some steak tartare. And some little O'Brien potatoes. Hey, what's this hole in the... Ah! I feel like Lewis and Clark. Really? You be Jerry Lewis, I'll be Petula Clark. <laughs> well, I guess we may as well give up for today. Well, you won't get any arguments from me. Okay, let's go. But I don't want to go now. What? Will the leech survive? Will they drink more coffee? And will the fat guy's wife ever touch him? And what about Naomi? Hi there. Look, either pick up a paddle or sit still. Is it asking too much to pull over to a station and ask for directions? Men. No. Can we do something different next time I go out? You go to a restaurant or something? Hello again. I'm the leech. See you later. Well, let's see, that'll hold me until I get to the office, anyway. Doing the big fig Newton, here's the tricky part, the big fig Newton. Oh. I'm asking you for the last time, Dave Walker. Did you eat the last moon pie? You answer me, you dirty old man. Dirty old man? The ropers get more action than I... Oh. I ain't dirty, Liz, baby. Liz, baby. Liz, honey. Can't you think of anything else to say, stupid? <sighs> Gotta get this order over Miss Chauvet. She's one of my better customers. You know, I think the bloom's off the rose. Yep. I love you, Liz, baby. But I love groceries more. Mm. Get out. Hmm? Get out, you fat pig! Now, wait a minute. I don't go calling you a beautiful, shapely woman, do I? Oh, yeah. Okay. Huh? Hmm? Clean up in aisle three, please. Listen, you, uh, don't even ask, all right? You know women, Cal. Gotta get the hair down every now and then. Hmm? You sure do know an awful lot about females. Well, I was a female well, once. I, see 
I can't stand here at jaw and cow. Gotta save my jaw for eating. Over to Miss Shelby. Here you what go, you Miss Shelby. About this time. Hmm. Well, after this has been got herself killed, she wants me to sell out and move into town. And leave all this? Don't you let her bamboozle you, Dave. You keep her right here in the store. After all, the place wouldn't be the same without you around. Well, there'd be more oxygen for the rest of us. Thanks, Cal. I better get going. See when I get back. Yeah, I'll be around. Ah, oh, what a rich life, huh? Flipping a walnut in the sieve all day. <laughs> now I got my pick of the wicker baskets. Mm. Hey, where are your outboard motor? Oh, there they are. Cora? Uh, Cal, yeah, I'm here about the affair. I have an appointment for 2 o'clock Wednesday. Say, could you show me some sundries? <laughs> You want something, Cal? Uh, do I still have a tab going? <laughs> I sure do, honey. Well, I'm real partial to them Hormel dinner meals. <laughs> what? What? I'm not a mind reader. <laughs> wow. Boy, some strong coffee. I'm getting buzzed. <laughs> my neck plate's quivering and my cute little acrylic hands are shaking and sweaty. Whoa. Fill her up, Joel. Yeah, <laughs> thoughts on anything you would say, mm. little amigo. More sugar, please. Okay, I'm right on it, Gypsy. No problem. Boy, Joel, today's experiment's got bite. It's uh, mm. it's like... Um, well, it's like a like, fever dream, yeah. Crow. You know, or like one of those dreams when you get home at midnight and you wolf down a Ukrainian sausage pastry and a Grolsch beer, then you go straight to bed. Yeah, or when you just got off a 12-hour shift at Arby's and you're watching TV at 3 a.m. and then you fall asleep during Omega Man. Yeah. Do you have any more half and half? Yeah, no problem. You know, I had a really weird dream last night. I dreamt that we, we all got back to Earth and then you guys got a duplex together. Well, you know, just last night I dreamed that I had a really nice girlfriend with red hair and a blue dress. Then she turned into a gargoyle and I was really scared. But then Jesus came and everything was okay. Uh, you saw Jesus? Oh, well, yeah. Real nice oh. guy, too. Thinner than you might think. Mm. I don't remember my dreams too often, Joel. Well, you know, I never could either until I started keeping a journal. Hey, uh, I'm curious, what are you dreaming about, Gypsy? I dream I fly in color. Uh, oh, oh, you dreamed you flew. Uh, that means you're intuitive. Hmm. It's really I have good. one dream about a little French cafe in Paris, right off the route of Florentine. What was that waiter's name? Jean-Louis! Oh, you have that dream, too? Oh, oh, my God. God. Careful, I spilled a little coffee right there. Oh, okay. Sorry about I that. am wired. You're kidding. <laughs> Hurt you now, did I? Just that you're so strong. Smelling, I mean. <laughs> I like him being strong. Smelling, I mean. <laughs> you sure picked a doozy than man, Dave. I don't think he's got a muscle in him. Just a big piece of flab. You're talking about the flab I love. Oh, honey, I... I didn't mean anything against you. I mean, you're a little piece of flab. Just that I can't see a, a real woman like you tying in with a tub of lard like him. I just can't imagine you making love is all. You wouldn't understand, Cal. You know, I, I've wanted to tell you. I'm the Ronald McDonald for this region. You just wouldn't understand. Be try me. <laughs> Free trial sample. Try you me tell for a week. Cal all about it. Sister, you got roots. Hmm. Huh? Did you say something? I, I wasn't the same. Crazy. Kind of looks like a forest up there in your you nose. Tell me you killed your pa and your ma and your whole family. Ooh. I fight to protect you. Mm -hmm. Ouch, my keys. Hey, remember my pa and my ma and my whole family? Well, uh, hmm? We now return to Fat Guy Goes Nutside, a trauma presentation. He's using an adulterated decoy. Come on, baby. <laughs> Miss Shelby, I got your groceries here. Don't want no trouble this time. Like that guy could sneak up on somebody, huh? <laughs> Honey, making out with one of my friends back here? Hmm, swamp blanket bingo. Ooh. Let's see now, there's some trees and a car and my, my wife making out with, oh? 
First husband was a no good bum. Second husband, no good bum. Couldn't Third get a husband, job no good bum. Week. He used to get lashed up, come home, beat up on me. Oh, Merle Haggard. Hey. Well, George Jones. That's been a prize pig. One night he tried to hold up a gas station. But he wasn't very strong and it he fell so on him. He was so drunk he couldn't even run. He caught him less than a mile away. He got sent up. I got a divorce. Then I dated David Soul for a while and same thing. After three years working in a lousy dinner, I was ready for the first guy to say a nice word to me. <coughs> hey, she's really opening up to him. I wish it had been me. Yeah. I'd know how to take care of a woman like you, Liz. Yeah. Maybe it's too late, Cal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, good thing they brought a make-out tarp. Mm -hmm. I believe this is my dance. You're wrong, woman. It's too late for the both of you. Uh, she dropped her contact links in my mouth and was trying to get it out with her tongue. Yeah, uh, that's it. And uh, uh, Get up. Now look, Dave, I, I know what you're thinking, but... I got double large shot in this here thing. <laughs> you got two seconds before I pull the trigger. Okay, so I guess I'll be seeing you there, huh? Oh, so... I'm getting riled, Dave. Just What's advancing the hope? plot, nothing personal. You've been testing me for months to take her out. Sure, Cal. I understand. Get her up so I can get a better look at the lion, little tramp. Oh, which one of us is the lion? Oh. Come on, get up. No, no, he kill me. He kill me. Jump. When your husband wants to take a look at you. Ah, uh, is this her? You uh, you walk all the way, Dave? No, oh, there's a motorcycle in my pants. What do you think? Get over there. Ooh. Now, David, ain't as bad as you think. It's fantastic. Tramp. What are you going to do? I'm going to make you listen to Super Tramp. Dave, you put down that gun before I get mad and make you eat it. Eat it? Mm. Hey, 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 don't try to distract me. Go right ahead and try it. I know what you're thinking. Did I fire oh. one shot or only one? Every weekend I go through this. No, just wanted the tarp. Now it's the most dangerous game. I'll say. This is more like Night of the Iguana than Attack of the Giant Leeches. <laughs> Quick, let's go tell the camp counselor. He'll help us. Come on! I can't go any further! I got nowhere else to go! <laughs> you two go on without me! Oh, wait a minute. That's all wrong. <laughs> Thunder, husband! I'll catch you, you wascal we adult was. Wait a minute, he's whole loading his gun with Tootsie Rolls. Mm. Go on, run! Run till you drop! Like I will! Uh, let me guess, she broke a heel? Yeah, she's the girl she's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Now what is with the mud? Did we miss some metaphor? Mm -hmm. Soil of the soul? <laughs> Oh, that one was just for me. Ha! Hey, that was his heart blowing up. <laughs> There's got to be a trailer park around here somewhere. Man, look at all the weed. Where are they? Tommy Chong's backyard? Mm. Suddenly, dead are defiant ones. Well, guess you caught up to us. Right, keep going. Dave, please, you gotta listen. It, was, it wasn't my fault, honest. She kept playing up to me every time you turned your back. It wasn't my fault. I can't feel the She's got bosoms and everything. You 
Turn your muscles. Turn she turn snagged on him. him. If it wasn't you, I wouldn't be in this fix. And my old friend Dave wouldn't be doing this thing to me. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> she did it again. What are you doing? Uh, but but Dave, Dave, we we've been friends. We've been friends a long time, Dave. You wouldn't you wouldn't kill an old friend, Dave. If you don't move, I'll kill you where you stand. But Dave. <laughs> Wait, did she just kill him? Or what? Oh. And as for you, young lady, you're grounded. Do nothing. Do nothing. I'm sorry, Dave. Don't make us go on the deep end. We're not ready for the deep end yet. No. Hey, quit laughing. I'm trying to humiliate you. Please, Dave, bring back the chicken cord and blue. You think you'll learn enough to stay away from a woman, Carol? <laughs> I'll learn plenty. I got a PhD in staying away from your wife. I'll do anything you say, Dave. Anything. Would you rob a shop? Anything. Come on out of there. Hi, Karumba! Behind you! I'm not falling for that. Well, uh, don't help or anything, Dave. Gee, it was okay to shoot him, but this, yeah. Think they know we're here? There ain't nothing down here, Sheriff. Except for these dead folks. Well, I'm getting tired of this. Come on in, boys. Well, if there was any bodies out there, we'd have found them. I want some straight answers, Walter. And don't give me any more of that crud about monsters, either. Where'd you hide them after you killed them? <coughs> Sorry. I told you the truth, Sheriff. I didn't kill them. I ate them. I just wanted to scare them good. Oh, don't cry. I hate it when you cry. I wouldn't do anything to hurt her. <laughs> I loved her. I loved her more than twice baked potatoes. You loved her. That's why you chased her through the swamp with a shotgun. Well, it's tough love, admittedly. Come on, Walker. Where'd you hide the bodies? Would you believe me? It was some monsters. They Take him out of here before I lose my temper. Gary Cooper in a cameo role. Gary Cooper, ladies and gentlemen. Gary Cooper. Yep. Hey, it's Bartles and James. Oh. County pay a reward if someone finds a body, Sheriff. Reward. Fifty dollars. And you get to keep the body. Those extra jeans you need. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Africa. You know, I, I never thought that of old Dave. Of course, everybody knows that Cal and Liz had a hankering for each other. I think it everybody went way beyond it. hankering. Mm-hmm. Stern fools. Grappling out there in the middle of the water. If an enemies is still in there, you can bet some old bull gators got him stuffed in his cave under the bank. Ooh. Letting him ripen up for a few days. Uh, Jeb, you got a real dark uh, side. Well, what we need now is some long cypress poles to go in there and pull we'll them We'll drink later. the pond dry and no, no, the... No, no, Otis, your quisp is ready. He's stuck to the ceiling. Oh, great, a swinger always on my shift. Can Crying I get the quisp? Out, out. I just love these hummels. I'm sorry, Doc, I can't do it. I have to do it myself. Wouldn't want to have to rush you, Doc, but I will if I find you near the preserve with any explosives. Steve. Sorry, Nan, that's the way it's got to be. I'm a jerk. Steve's right, Nan. It's his job to protect wildlife. What about human life? Mm -hmm. Three people have been killed in that game preserve. Yeah, Doesn't that mean so... anything to you? Nan, try to understand. If I I'm a jerk. Sure something in the swamp was responsible for those deaths, I wouldn't hesitate a minute. We've been together the last three days. We didn't see a trace of anything unusual. Except for that ten-foot Not foot so much leech. as a, a suggestion of any form of life unknown to us. Steve? Oh, easy lift needs those. adjusting. All right, I'll admit Sawyer's death left a lot of questions unanswered. But you can bet your bottom dollar the other two died from Dave Walker's shotgun. Do you really believe that? Figure it out, Nan. 
Walker admitted chasing his wife and cow into the swamps after he found them together. A cow? He shot them and he tried to place the blame on Sawyer's DTs. If Sawyer told of seeing a purple giraffes mm. with polka dot tails, Walker would have whoa, claimed whoa, they whoa. did. Whoa, whoa, back up a bit there. There's one argument against that, Steve. Dave Walker wasn't the kind of a man to hang himself. Not even nah, he's a blade charges. man. Oh, I talked with Dave less than an hour before he killed himself. That man That's was in a why. state of shock. I've seen frightened mm. men before, terrified mm. men. Hey. But I've never seen anything to compare with the horror and the fear in Walker's eyes. Well, mm. He realized what he'd done and he killed two people. One is white. One is cow. Well, look, Doc, Nan and I were all over that swamp. And each you know, other. Why didn't these monsters attack us? I've been thinking about that. They're probably night creatures. Hmm. They can't stand the light. They stay down near the bottom during the day. Well, like comedians. Hmm. Hmm? A small charge would stun them, bring them to the surface. Can't buy it, Doc. You're pig-headed Steve Benton. No, it's Steve-headed Pig Stubborn Benton. Stubborn pig-headed. Oh. You just don't understand, do you? I'm a jerk. Oh, I'll go make some coffee. She doesn't understand. I'm a jerk, sir. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Good night, Doc. Good night, jerk. I'm a beaver, and this is the view from my living room. Enjoy! Hi, I'm back. Hi. Oh. Got any deep woods off there? Well, at least we're paddling in the same direction now. Right over there in them reeds. Is where my daddy met my pappy. Hmm. Wish we could see him. You can't personalize a monster like this. Ooh, hey, look, a lot of golf balls down in there. Just can't figure old Dave out. Oh, he's a if complex you fellow. My cow, what would you do? I hadn't thought of that. I hadn't thought of anything, never. Right over there in them reeds. Yeah, Where Jerry Reed, mm -hmm. Rex Reed, mm -hmm. Willis Reed, Donna Reed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reed, mm -hmm. Reed Richards, mm -hmm. Robert Reed. These guys are aggressively incompetent. Don't look now, I think they found Jimmy Hoffa. Oh, Oh, take me to the sweet mushroom palace, my friend oh, Booze. That's the suntan lotion. <coughs> you ever feel like crying right and you don't know why? So it's funny. Huh? Gallagher said he sure is funny. You notice anything? Oh, what? We've been prodding around you all morning. Hmm? Ain't run across a single gator. And I don't have no pants on. My right. Oh. School should be crawling with him. Now, I'm crawling with something. So funny. Yeah, that, that is funny. I don't like the looks of things. Man, I don't like Let's the looks of you. Day. Well, now, wait a minute. We, we ain't pulled the gator holes around the bend yet. You do what you want to do, boy. Just get me on dry land. And right quick. Don't all ever get right. off the now, boat. You know getting all head up. Let's go. All right, now make that motor and boat noise that again, guy. Caleb. <laughs> By the way, can I borrow your fondue set? Sarah and her mother are coming over later. Wild goose chase. This is the most fantastic undersea odyssey ever filmed. Oh, I just love underwater love scenes. Great, the leeches have a little fort. Hello, Bone. Sorry about the formality. Bone, this one's a keeper. We need tonight. Do <laughs> you ever feel like you're in a Gary Larson cartoon? Leeches are just guys in fancy ponchos. They're not leeches, they're, they're Scientologists. They're Sears ponchos. Oh, look, Jim Henson's Cracker Babies. Huh? Hey, keep it down. We're trying to sleep over here. You still haven't got it right. We don't want hillbillies with good taste. We want hillbillies that taste good. Hillbilly red. Honey, wake up. They're back. 
Wow, he is going to have one immense hickey. He's going to have to wear a turtleneck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How am I going to explain this to my husband? Now this side. You've blown it all sky high. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say we're in the dullest part of the movie right now. Uh, probably. Without a reason why. There's a madman across the water there. Ooh, buzz bomb reference. Hey, Bob, you know, I'm thinking about getting me one of them Speedo swimsuits. What do you think? Look what Good sweet, choice. Pete. Can we break for a snack? Dave would have wanted us to. We're under here. You can't see me. Oh, I think my pants are shrinking. <laughs> oh, clear. Yeah. It's clear over here. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, that's not a scent. That's the other dog you're sniffing. These dogs have been tracking each other. Liberty checkers. No. Oh. Is it hot here or is it just me? <laughs> ah. Whoa, out of here. <laughs> Feet don't fail me now. Stay together, cheeks. Well, this scene isn't panning out like I had hoped. Hey, spread out. This is my spot. Yeah, yeah, we know. You saw the best minds of your generation destroyed by madness. We know. All right, let's keep moving. Do another film? Champ, Rex, Spot, Otto. Let me. I Ooh. claim it is a land for the queen of Spain. Wouldn't you like to glide in my beautiful balloon? Yeah, they're really having trouble with this scene. Yeah, yeah it's going nowhere. Well, That's going to fix it. Might as well start back. I reckon ain't no use hurrying now, Mr. Benton. Well, you reckon? Reed and old Sam was alive. They'd let us know him with a hollow or something. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Yep. You fellas notice anything about this lake? Uh, it's I mean, wet. Gators. What about them? They ain't. A piece of water this size usually has maybe 50, 60 big ones around. A whole lot of little ones. Well, I could go for a piece Three of water myself. Them. Well, maybe our uh, torches scared them away. Nothing scares gators. Nothing. Animal or human. But keep in mind, I'm intensely stupid. Well, we might as well get out of here. It's TGIF, huh, fellas? Hmm, <laughs> folk art. We're worried about your not smoking, Chad. You got something in mind, Steve? Yeah, remember Bub's Daddy Gum? I'm thinking what Evan said about the gators. Yeah, he said, ah! Animal or human. And yet something made them leave. Maybe a... Court order? Maybe a mineral contamination. I guess I better run some water samples. Through myself. Come on, you two. Drink your coffee. Well, I was just talking about coffee a moment ago. And uh, supposing there is no contamination? Well, we'll add some. Well, then I'll send over to Eastport for a diving rig and go down to look for this monster of yours. No, Steve. Don't even joke like that. You don't know how to tell them. I'm not joking, man. I had some training with an aqualung while I was in the Navy. Dur, 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 dur. Look, two bodies we know for sure are down there. Maybe four. They've got to be brought up. Wait a minute. There are no alligators in that part of the swamp, right? So? No sign of any fish or snakes? So? No. Well, what are you getting at, Doc? Uh, would you pass a jelly? Well, that goes your argument about setting off a dynamite charge underwater. Hmm. You'd bring the bodies to the surface. Hmm. Get it out of your mind, Doc. I'm not using any explosives as long as there's another way. Why must you be such a... Stud. Stubborn pighead. Exactly. That too. I'll tell you why. Number one, there's bound to be some aquarium life in that section, even if the bigger forms have abandoned it. Get it? Explosion underwater would destroy every living thing and wreck what nature took years to build up. Years of inbreeding destroyed. Number two, I'm paid to prevent the useless slaughter of wildlife. But what was one again? Number three, I'd have to get authorization. Get that authorization, I'd have to come up with a heck of a Number good four, reason. you're a jerk. Satisfied? Uh, no, I could use more coffee. Finish up, Dad. I want to go home. Uh, I thought you were uh, home. Steve, uh, how long would it take to get this diving equipment from Eastport? Is this a riddle? A couple of days. Why? Oh, nothing. Then why uh, bring it up? I was deliberately wasting your time. Take care of yourself, Steve. Or someone might stab you in your sleep. Wait, I don't live here. What the... oh. Hmm. Well, here's hoping. Dad. 
can't you throw the dynamite in from here? No, I want to get it out in the middle, in the deepest part. Because Pepperidge Farm remembers. Now it's time for Trout Blasting in America with your host, Dick Brodigan. Right. Oh, do you know I'm a danger to myself and others. <laughs> For sauna, big time. Looks like the cave of Dr. Calamari. <laughs> I know, I know, you get used to it. Off in an elevator, living it up, but I'm going. Ah, suck on that, you darn son of a from My a prayer fan. was adopted. Well, honey, I threw it under the boat where it would do the most. Oh! <laughs> Parking at the swamp sure is convenient. Yep. He's at it again, isn't he? Hmm. Sad, really. <sighs> well, let's go get him. Gee. Come on, dummy. Back to the home with you. Well, look, now she's wearing her beauty operator outfit. Let you go any minute. Yeah, right. What a loon. I'm not a loon. Next week on MacGyver. Everybody in the pool! <laughs> oh, gee, it worked on the gophers in my yard. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. There. Oh. I get it, Bob? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let me tell you, if I could take one dumb thing back in my life... <laughs> I know what you mean. Say, are those Bugle Boy jeans? Mm. Uh. Uh, better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bring it down there, Gypsy. You know, Silas, it's not easy being a social misfit and then getting the added responsibility of dragging that in the swamp for missing town folk, and I can't even button my own shirt. Yeah, I hear you, Guthrie. Hey, oh, isn't it amazing how we inferior types keep getting asked to do the dangerous work that should go to men more stable than us? Really is a miracle. <laughs> Hooter? Uh, die up, uh, uh, Wagnats. <laughs> what did he say, Silas? Well, I think what our bright young friend's trying to say here is the reason we three goofuses are asked to do these hazardous tasks outside the perimeter of normal society's rationale is we're a danger to ourselves oh, and others. Oh, <laughs> kind of reminds me of Darwin's theory of natural selection. Yeah, if you're down, you die. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'll say that's a ritual there, Hooter. <laughs> Oh, I'm a danger to myself and others. My cousins are as close as brothers. I stay out in the rain all the time. Ooh. He's a danger to himself and others. Only like shows with Sally Struckers. I can't even think of a word that rhymes. Well, you just uh, did. How dumb are you, Uncle Dad? Well, pretty dumb, that's for sure. How dumb are you, Uncle Dad? Well, it's pot filled with manure. Ooh, hey, he's a danger, danger to ourselves and others. If the earth is still our mother, leave us in the woods and we're just fine. We're a danger to ourselves and others. Good luck, stock me for better or lovers. Hot and leech is what we call a good time. Oh, 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 Walker's wife, why didn't her body come to the surface? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe her shoes were too heavy. I think I better walk over to the coroner's office. What's the matter, Mr. Benton? You feel awkward about arresting my father in his own home? No. I, I warned him I'd arrest him if he used dynamite. It's nice of you. Jeez, I don't get women. Well, the autopsy should be over by now. Oh, hi. You got oh, the right please. to remain silent, and you have... I thought you'd be here. I was wishing I you weren't. I don't like to have to do this, Doctor. Do we have time for a cup of coffee first? 
Sure. Mind, honey? No, I'll make some sandwiches. No, I'll make some coffee sandwiches. She's going to his place to make sandwiches. You know, liquor makes everything right. From the Liquor Council. It's what, what your buddy's thirsty for. All the good it'll do now. Well, let me show you my appendix, girl. Hey, Walker didn't shoot Cal. Uh, I'll get my coffee. I just coffee. count the autopsies. Hoover's tried to keep me out. If I told him I'd raise a stink, they'd smell all the way to the Capitol if he did. Don't doubt that. <laughs> well, what killed them, Doc? Not drowning. No. And Cal wasn't shot, either. And he wasn't beat up by clowns. Every drop of blood was drained out of their bodies. Turns out I did it. Funny, huh? And they had wounds on their throats. Mm. Suction wounds. Like a... Like a gigantic leech might make. Or Hoover. And there's something even more incredible. I'm Skippy the Chimp. I was supposed to have been killed several days ago. Sam and Reed have been missing a matter of 48 hours. Mm -hmm. All three of them, as far as we know, were in that lake uh, a minimum of two days. Now, I'd stake my reputation as a doctor. Oh, what's left of it? Cal hadn't been dead more than two or three hours when we found him. And the other two less than that. <laughs> First stage, rigor mortis started in during the autopsy. Ooh. But how could that be, Doc? It's impossible. The coroner will confirm it. Cigarette? Whatever killed him is still in that lake. And it's going to take more than dynamite to get it out. I think we should use my new air bomb. Concussion from those charges would have killed a full-grown whale. That's it. We'll put a full-grown whale down there. Oh. That explains how Cal and the others lived after they were supposed to be drowned. What do you mean? Well, this whole region is riddled by caves and caverns cut out by the ocean thousands of years ago. I love riddles. If there are caves above the water, then there must be caves under the water. Go on. No, make me. Mike and I had a chance to fool around with some frogman equipment captured from the Italian Navy. Yeah, and then we went on to <laughs> showgirl costumes. Sort of prowled through a sunken transport off Salerno. Butter cookie? When the ship went down, it trapped some air inside the hull. <laughs> We'd go down, come up inside the officer's lounge, take off her face mask, and sort of sample some of the bottles floating around. That's yeah, nice. Is there a point to your little story? I was crazy trying to figure out how we were getting the stuff. You mean you think that there's a, an air pocket or a, a cave underneath the lake? Right, gotta be. How else could those people have lived down there? Not only that explains how whatever it is down there lived through the concussions. Steve. Steve. Small. Liz Walker. Whoa. I stood up too fast. Whoa. She might still be down there. Alive. But musty. Ew. What? Is this. Uh, Calgon, take me away. I think it did. <laughs> This must be the swimsuit edition of Leech Illustrated. No, no. Look of paint, some nice curtains. This place would be okay. Meanwhile, on Hollywood Boulevard, we now return to Hawaii Five O. Looks like the cameraman can't find the cast. Oh. Skipper. Now you bring the swamp to a rolling boil. Hey, it looks like the dad from Flipper. <laughs> hey, looks like the whole town came out to watch him suit up. Well, they don't have a movie house. Yeah, yeah. Comfortable? Yeah. Make a nice living. You sure you don't want me to go down for you, Mike? You haven't had one of these things on for a long time, while me, every other day, I've been playing fish. <laughs> Remember the first time we had one of these on? Not this time, Mike. <laughs> if you ask me, they ought to have their heads examined. <laughs> Giant leeches. Yeah. Uh, I'm willing to bet a month's pay they don't come up with nothing more than excuses. Well, I could use ten bucks. Him, the doc, and his brat, too. Just way like it on the phone of the Capitol. I'll guarantee somebody will wish they'd kept their nose out of other people's business. You're not in my underwear, I'll guarantee that. I'm going with you. Be careful, please. Don't worry, Mike will be ready if anything goes wrong. Oh, don't worry about Steve. Now, if you were going after Barracuda, you might have a tiny bit to worry about. <laughs> ready, Mike? Wee! <laughs> sure you don't want some coffee? Get back, you again. Goodbye, Skipper. Sure hope those coconut air tanks hold out. <laughs> <laughs> there 
your dad. Goodbye! They don't have a chance. I'll see you later. Good luck. We'll drag him out tomorrow. Good luck out there. <laughs> it's the star of Ralph Bellamy, Ralph Bellamy, Ralph Bellamy. I see London, I see France, I see little Stevo's underpants. Uh, good news, we're having fish today. <laughs> fish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you've sucked the life out of me. I have nothing more to give. Please. Not exactly inviting, is it? Yeah. That sure isn't. Hey, let's stay in the boat and just eat sandwiches, okay? And uh, look, I'll spit in my own mask this time. Right to the bottom. Well, let's try the other one. Oh, jeez. It's not deep. It was filled with Corman's swimming pool. Eh. Darn fool kids. Oh, watch that end. Pink. Oh, sorry. Don't stop anything up to a tiger shark. But you gotta hit. This is don't count. If anything goes wrong, just yank on the line. I'll be down in a hurry. Then yank real hard. I might have the radio on. It's a little way of the boxes reads, I am leaving. This must be spiders. What a jerk. Yank! Yank! Big! Hello! Oh, oh, is this thing on? Oh, big thing! Oh. Huh? Huh? I'll be I want! I'll be leaving! I'll be leaving! Got a big one. <sighs> Could you hand me another spear? You sure you don't want me to go down and finish it off for you, Steve? No, thanks, Mike. I, I think I heard it pretty bad. Careful now, anything hurts ten times as dangerous. Yeah, I'll figure that out underwater, friend. <laughs> He's wounded it! He's gonna finish it off! I'd start the grill if I were Does you! He have to go under again? He's got to make sure, honey. This is what therapy's all about. Where could it have come from? I wish I knew. We'll have to make some tests. Well, I guess AT? Maybe the proximity of Cape Canaveral's got something to do with it. Rocket station? Well, they use atomic energy in the first stages of launch. Not all of them have been successful. You think that if some animal life was close by, not close enough to be killed, but close enough to feel the effects of a radioactive energy that's... Uh, a mutation. A type of gigantism of some common animal. Uh, speaking of common animals, how Whatever is Steve is. getting on? I hope he's able to bring it up. <laughs> then I could bring my lunch up. <laughs> Let's go see what Steve the Jerk is up to. Hey, I can't see. Oh, I feel like I'm in Hef's grotto. Hmm. Oh. oh, there she goes. <laughs> Bob <Bye> now. <laughs> Bob Bye. Oh, I've seen this in Dementia 13. I see London, I see France. Hey, come on, see... she's dead. Oh, sorry. Wow. Huh? Hey, good job. They found her. Ah. Well, I'll just uh, put her on the stringer. <laughs> Can't be Liz. Hmm. I don't remember Liz being dead with giant hickeys on her cheeks. Mm -hmm. What could have done that? Steven Tyler? Look at her face. Maybe. The Abyss. Oh, owie, I just got such a big blood blister, and it's so nice and juicy, and I feel so naughty. I, oh, I sure hope a big leech doesn't come around. Oh, it would be just terrible. Sucker. Uh, wait a minute, that's me. <laughs> I did me. Oh. oh, now it looks like a sea turtle.
Uh, I think Liz will be okay in that boat alone. Mm. Steve was in trouble. I had to act fast. I had to get my sons in the series. Uh, hey, Ma, I'd like to borrow your butcher knife, okay? Wait a minute, are there two of them now? Hey, okay, what's what, going what? on? No, it's a mess. It's confusing. Doesn't matter, huh? Oh, don't touch him, that's my pal! He's trying to stab the cameraman, you see oh. that? <laughs> Not me, you idiot! The leech! The leech! Yeah, so there's two, yeah, come on, come on, I've sucked blood from guys bigger than the both of you! Then it was back to the lodge for a smooth Canadian club. Well, oh, it's a manatee. Uh, I've been around here for years. I never saw nothing like that. Before. I'm a professional skeptic. Tommy Bartlett invites you to ride the wild leech. Come on, let's all ride him. <laughs> uh, David Jansen. <laughs> I want to measure her and weigh her. I think she's a keeper. She's a record, all right. Oh, there she goes, Liz. Oops. Hey, I'll have to go diving more often. <laughs> I'll carry her. No, I'll carry her. No, I'll carry her. I'll get her. And what of Emily and her love for Chad? And what of the hair on Chuck's chest? Stay tuned. Epilogue. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, who's this guy? A roadie from Sea Hunt? I don't know. Jeez. Wish I would have thought of that. Mm. <laughs> okay, any time now. Oh. This time. Yeah, I hope that's right. They must be licking their wounds. <laughs> sure used enough stuff to do the job, Mike. I used 100 sticks to 40 percent. Enough to kill all of us. Right out. All right, let her go. Oh no, I've done enough of your dirty work. Help yourself. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that old one. Hmm, now let's see, how do you work this old thing? Let's see if my memory serves me correctly. Oh yeah. Right. Well, blew my blanket clean off. Ooh. One. one. Well, I'll be hogtied in the back room with the big old fish fry tonight. <laughs> Two. Two. Mm -hmm. well, I'd hope that'd be more exciting. Well, let's go back to town. Oh, wait, there is no town. Ah, who's hungry for blood sausage? No. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna miss him. Now we gotta go hang out at the grocery store again. <sighs> I feel empty. Kind of a letdown, really. Hmm. But for the lowly detonator. Hmm? Oh, lost oh, your head. Well, we head, better head, get it. Got to figure out how this is going to end here. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Joel, I can't help but feel that that film was flawed in certain ways. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, I don't know. I just, I just felt that Corman failed to deliver on concepts and ideas promised us in films like uh, Viking Women and the Sea Serpent. You know, I had problems with it too, Joel. Like, I can't figure out if those leech creatures were smart or just big dumb monsters. Well, they were uh, smart enough to take hostages. Huh. Yeah, that's right. And when that drunk poacher fingered one of the leeches, they sent a contract man out to kill him. Yeah, you know, so maybe Maybe they kept everybody busy at the swamp while they went into town and stole everybody's antiques. Well, I don't know if they were that smart. I mean, let's remember they did get caught. I mm -hmm. think they just went on killing and killing until it was all about killing and it wasn't about fun anymore. Huh. Knowing what I know, I guess that they're smarter than a sea turtle but dumber than Danish physicist Niels Bohr. Yeah, like I can see them going to four of the Police Academy movies before they stop shelling out the dough and waiting for them to come out on Showtime. <laughs> right, they're the kind of leeches that would probably think of Chili's as their favorite restaurant and it would never really dawn on them that it was a chain. Yeah, <laughs> or they'd be the type to watch paid programming and never figure out that it was an ad. Right. Well, this is a lot of fun, you guys, but I think it's time to read a letter. Let's put oh this up on Still Store Canva. Uh, this one comes from uh, 
Jean, Jean A. Dunn, and she writes, Jean? Dear Joel, I am positively crazy about your show. When I can find it on TV, I tape it and play it over so I don't miss any of your sarcastic remarks. I keep recommending your show to everyone I can. Everyone who is lucky to catch it loves it. P.S. I'm 59 years old and I've never written a fan letter in my life. Well, thank you, Jean A. Dunn. Oh, bless you, Jean. Gina Dunn. Nice life goal. Gina. Mm -hmm. What do you think, sirs? Oh, sorry, Frank. I left the leech on too long. Well, Frank? Frank? Well, now that you've sucked all the blood out of Frank, what are you going to do now? Oh, right, Produce. Be as creative as I can. Have you thought about the mad scientist game? <laughs> Don't get me started. You know, I got some ideas. Maybe we could do lunch. Sure. Oh, you think you could pick it up? I'm, I'm flat busted. You know, I'd really love to produce you. I had this concept that maybe we could go in and... <laughs>